and staying on with updates on the Russia-Ukraine war. The war-torn country has requested India for additional medicines and medical equipment, humanitarian aid. The request in a letter by the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi came during the three-day visit to India by Ukraine's Deputy Foreign Minister when she met the Minister of State for External Affairs, Minakshi Lekhi. Now, Kiev says it will allow foreign medical students to take the Unified State Qualification Exam in Ukraine and this will offer tremendous relief for tons of Indian students who were forced to leave when the war broke out. Meanwhile, Ukraine has called India a global player when it comes to helping out other countries, emphasizing that India stands as the Vishwa Guru of the world. But what about the other countries? What have they been doing in terms of sending humanitarian aid? For example, the US, which spends a billions in supplying weapons. In 2022, America supplied nearly $112 billion worth of military aid. So does America prioritize weapons over food and clothing and humanitarian aid? More than half of the country's spending on Ukraine is on weapon supply. Nearly $4 billion committed to humanitarian aid. You heard that right. $4 billion only. So why is there so much significance when it comes to humanitarian aid? Because this type of aid helps the government to run its daily operations. It makes up for the salaries of the civil servants, the healthcare workers, the educators and others. Humanitarian aid also includes supply of food assistance, safe drinking water, medical supplies, other necessities. It's not only the U.S. which shows special interest in military aid. Pakistan seems to have also joined the league. Reports saying that the country will be sending 230 containers of defense supplies to Ukraine this month. What makes this move highly controversial is while Pakistan shows interest in sending weapons to Ukraine, it is also asking Russia for help in modernizing its aircraft engines. And that's not even all. Pakistan would also start receiving petroleum at discounted rates from Russia by the end of this month. So why would Pakistan send weapons to Ukraine? Reports say Pakistan, which has established itself as a major provider of weapons to Ukraine, could transfer the military aid in exchange for financial assistance from the West. Although nothing has been confirmed, the move does make sense, like we've been saying, for Pakistan as it continues to go through the worsening economic crisis. And while India has been prioritizing supplying humanitarian aid, countries like Pakistan and the U.S. continue to churn out weapons and ammunition. The contrast is quite visible. Will the business of weapons manufacturing take over the importance of humanitarian aid? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.